The melting pot. So it's late night. <laughs> late night with Rebecca and Chris. <laughs> That's the Vesper martini. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Excellent. Yay. Of course, shaking that stove. <laughs> <laughs> Can I film your hands while you do that? Not at all. I was trying to get into the hand monitor. <laughs> so that would be a good start for me. Though. No, I'm, I just need I'm to weird. For, for my uh, resume. No, I record everything. I'm a blogger, so everything. I'm like, ooh, I'm just funny so that way. So we get the nice little base beer to start off, a little fresh salsa, and a nice little cheddar cheese. Awesome! I'm so excited to eat this. It's been too long. You know, it's interesting because uh, folks try to do make the recipes at home, and it's ingredients you can get easy at the store. Right. Uh -huh. but we have certain twists to it. Uh, so then it's special. Our cheese, if you notice, it's very white. Uh huh. Because they had a, a, a little bit of flour. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. That's so cool to know. A little bit of a hint and keeps it from festering too much. Mm -hmm. That makes it easier to make. Right. Oh. Yeah. That's very cool to know. You should share all the secrets. <laughs> I can't tell you how, um, what you're using the salsa. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be fine with a nice little Tostino salsa. Mm -hmm. Now, if you feel it from the fiesta, since it does get jalapenos, uh -huh. how do we feel about that? Do we want it mild, medium, spicy? Mm -hmm. Want to make it medium? Um, is it possible to be in between medium and mild? <laughs> of course. You do it. Yeah, because we usually I'm not... get it mild, and I've, I've gotten a better palate of spice, so I kind of want to have not. Cool. But she's, uh, I go medium, no, no, let, no other than medium myself. Right, right. <laughs> no worries, what I do is I add a little bit to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, one spoon. Mild, good, like good. In between, I need the jalapenos with you. Oh, you can add yourself in case it's not too spicy. You can add it on. Or when I get full, you can dump the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Is it flambé or flambeau? Flambé. 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 bathroom for the melting pot and I saw this touching fondue forks means he's comfortable with intimacy but that's funny let me see if there's different ones if he offers to share the last strawberry he's totally into you oh my gosh that's so funny okay last one Well, anyway, I just thought that, that was really funny and I wanted to show you because I <laughs> Multitasking! Inception, inception of cameras. Okay, I did my eyebrows. Hi, dear Happen. We're filming the no, no Mirror Makeup Challenge right now. You can keep going, it's funny. Okay. Are you <laughs> done with yours? Yeah. I have no clue what I look like. So, this is what Chris uses to film not film, to capture his games. Look how tiny it is. It's game capture HD. I like that that's a little play button. I think that that's cool. So Boogie, you just plug it into the system and into your TV? Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but yeah, essentially you plug one part uh, into your system and then the other connection. There's three connections. One that goes into your system, one that goes into your TV, and then one that goes to your computer. Uh -huh. uh, and the one that goes to your computer is a USB cable. And then uh, that's how you capture the footage. So this is Siomi's ore brush. Look what happens when I let her do what she wants. <laughs> Siomi, come back. That's not yours. Well, it is yours, but you can't keep it. Yummy, give me your ore brush. You can't have the ore pup. Not right. No, 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 no. It's not a toy. It's for licking. Now 
That's not what I meant, Siomi. <laughs> Hello dear Hapnites, so for the question of the video, we want to know what your opinion on, is on fondue. Because we absolutely love fondue, like to death, but we know a lot of people that actually, well not a lot, but we know some people that think it's just like a waste of money to go to a restaurant for fondue, because you know, it's so, it you can make it at home, but we just love the experience, but anyway. So what is your opinions on fondue? We love fondue to death. Boogie, do you want to say anything about fondue? Uh, uh, oh, 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 I thought I was being audio too. Oh, 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 I'm <laughs> um, what's it called? Uh, fondue? What about fondue? What? What's your opinion on fondue? Uh, pff, it's not fondant, you do. Huh? Uh, uh, it's cheese and shit, and you melt it, and it's great. Well, it's not just melted and cheese, it's chocolate. What? Uh, what's my opinion of fondue? When we go to the melting pot, I like the cheese, I like the chocolate, I don't like the entree. The cheese is great. Um, I think that if it's two people, you order for three. And I am drinking a Vesper Martini while eating fondue is a surprisingly good combination. I don't think that's a surprise. I think it sounds perfectly good. It's a good combination. Yeah. 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 So that is, our, that is our question of the video. Uh, also, I'm, I'm, I have like an intense like running and fitness goal for April. So if you guys are interested, I'll put that uh, link down below. Uh, because since it's before April when you see this, I don't know, maybe you'll want to join on the challenge. I don't know. But anyway, so we hope that you're having a delightful weekend and have a great Easter Sunday. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Okay, go ahead and talk, Luca. Oh. Make the announcement. Okay. Did I do it last time? I think you did. Okay, so you do it this time. Okay, the question of the video is what is your fro yo combination? So when you get frozen yogurt, what do you put? My answer is I put, um, if I'm going to Yogurt Land, which is my favorite place, I get uh, red velvet ice, uh, red velvet frozen yogurt, cheesecake frozen yogurt, and then